Hit it. So Eddie Festival, here we are sitting at the sitting at the old board, and it is an old board, isn't this it? Is at least thirty years old. It's an English console, I'm right. proud to say, by Rupert Neve, and it just has a wonderful, fat, warm sound. It's, it's an analog sound that is sadly missing today, and yeah. so a lot of people in the record business who are producers and engineers want a big, fat, warm sound in order to make the digital sound cool and. In the process of taking a, a Hendrix tape, by the way, this is an original, dated uh, 1969. Folks, do you see this? This is the real McCoy. This is one of the, yeah, the, the original recording. We're going to take one of these songs, this particular one, Crosstown Traffic, and this is on these old recordings you've unearthed. What I'm going to show is the quarter-inch tape that we're going to play that is coming through the console over here, and it's going to get treated three or four different times, different kinds of EQ and processing in order to make it sound better. I'm trying to improve upon the original. And this will be pre-mashing before it goes to the CD. All right, now we're listening just to the raw tape. And I'm going to show you step one, which is inserting the EQ on the console. adds bottom end, it adds a little bit of mid-range and some top. Now here's step two. This to me is the glorious part of the whole sound. This is my favorite tube EQ. And now for a little bit of extra sheen. And for the final piece de resistance, the compression. What's interesting about this tape is there are some very cool things that Jimmy is doing. In order to get the sound of a kazoo, he says, give me your comb. And we gave him a comb. I need some tissue paper. He took a comb, wrapped it with some tissue paper, and went do 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 That's his sound. Now the moment of truth. Will it work? This is where the music goes from an analog recording to a digital recording. Eddie, pick it up uh, for us from here. Well, as you can see, what I've done with all this EQ on the console. I prepared my tape before it hits the digital realm, so I have to do an absolute minimum of adjustment in the digital world, because I'm not too keen on the digital EQ. I know that what I've got on the tape is brilliant. We can cut, cut, and, sp and, sp and splice. I may put uh, maybe a tiny little bit of high end, and maybe a tiny bit of bottom end. Maybe I'll even change the compression ratio very slightly, but it's so minimal, because the work, I've really done the work. The key to digital is the conversion from the analog to the digital world. And we use a thing called a MyTech converter, which is made here in New York City, and we use a really good word clock, and it keeps everything in a line, and it sounds pretty damn good, I think. All right, so the final recording, let's take a listen. Bad. Yeah, I reckon you've got a hit single in your hands here, mister. Yeah, watch it. By so, the way, it ends up yeah. on this thing, you know that. Right. A little thing uh, we like to call a compact disc. CD. CD. Put it in your car. For your delight and delectation. Um, Mr. Eddie Kramer, thank you so much. Crank up the music. And cut.